Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create looking like that table. In the previous video tutorial, uh, I already got uh, the tables or you can say schemas uh, from uh, WordPress, uh, WordPress database. Uh, here, he, uh, here we have. So all these tables uh, access in, uh, in my project by using CLI you have to know uh, if you if you want to see just check my previous video tutorials uh, so all these tables are here so WP context just I want to get the U, uh, WP users there is table so how to get that table uh, just run it and you have to see uh, WP users index these all names are there uh, in the in th that uh, that thing is looking like uh, that thing there is uh, the username name email role and the post us there Rahul Tarun and TK so these are also uh, Tarun TK and Rahul these are so how to get it uh, and uh, how to get all users uh, from a WordPress database table so just uh, you can uh, here we have username name email role and the post so just create a view model class that is user view model class and here we have username name email role and the post okay and after that you can uh, see uh, WP user co uh, controller section uh, in the index section we have uh, get all the U WP users from the list after that you can uh, add a new uh, user view model object and by using the for each loop you can assign uh, username email name role and the post to the user view model so the main thing is here uh, we have a uh, get roles and the get post or uh, get total post so uh, the logic behind the get uh, total number of posts uh, according to the item dot id id is the user id you can say so dot uh, total number of post is wp post dot where post author post status and the post type if three things are there then of their uh, respective id then you can say get the counts number of posts so uh, return a uh, total number of posts that is available here and the get roles is there according to the id property so first of, first of all context dot wp user metadata dot where uh, user metadata hold uh, some uh, key features and key and values so user id of the id is dot to list all these data of wp uh, user metadata mm, there is WP user metadata here we have uh, user metadata ID user ID meta key and a meta value so uh, after that uh, you can get roles that is role dot where meta key dot equals WP capabilities just uh, I want to check capability section there is there is capability section where administrator is there so just use uh, where capabilities dot select meta values only and convert that into the array so here we have a php array converter uh, that class is there helper function php array converter and that a class will convert into the php array to uh, serialize and deserialize so so here we have uh, deserialize the php array and uh, and that uh, deserialize uh, output uh, uh, consider as a hash table and after that you can uh, lock that output output dot sync root because the sync root contain the key and the value so just I want to get the key where administrator is there so user role is the administrator so just return the user role by using this and get it here and the view section of that uh, code is the simple thing uh, wp users and index and here we have a 
username name role and these are the that thing and the model is there so that is the output of that uh, code so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and this series is directly related to wordpress and uh, wordpress features uh, inherited or you can say use in asp.net core thank you very much for watching this